the small garden in midsummer and already this is mid-July a lot of second plantings have happened or are just about to happen mostly actually it's in place now for the autumn and winter with one exception which is where the onions are just finishing and uh, there's a little bit of a mishap there which is a bit my experimenting a variety called lilla we've already taken loads of spring onions from there and I left the rest to bulb up but a few of them are bolting it's just a varietal trait uh, so we're pulling them as they make their little bolting stems they're still very good to eat but you can't store them some of them will be good for storing as red onions and beyond them are leeks which followed spinach so they've been in about a month multi-sown and beyond the leeks are beetroot which followed potatoes and we had six or seven kilos of early potatoes there and the beetroot went in about two weeks ago just on the same day as harvesting the potatoes and then here we have carrots coming already for winter that's where the lettuce were so I sowed them between the lettuce the lettuce plants that were there gave many many kilos I think it was about eight over several weeks of harvesting lettuce rather like these ones are now doing so this is the second sowing of lettuce that I make first of June these were sown planted 24th roughly three week old three and a half week old plants and we started picking them two weeks ago and they just keep cropping the outer leaves like that twisting off a leaf at the base every week or so and here there's endive which we're harvesting in the same way so a variety called frenzy and you can keep taking off the outer leaves and these leaves are bitter there's no two ways about that but actually in a, in a mix of salad leaves that, that bitterness is not too strong and you can put a sweet dressing and lovely shape to it and texture and so it just all adds to the flavour and they will carry on cropping all summer the kale here I planted between carrots so this is already given four kilos of carrots this area finished harvest mid-July oh well, actually that's mid-July so it was only last week and uh, the kale already are pretty much filling the space uh, Cavallo Nero so very lovely tasty leaves which will crop into the autumn and possibly through the winter we'll see how it goes and beyond them the French beans are uh, just starting cropping now we haven't actually picked any but there are some lovely ones quite long ones too that's a variety called Savari and already that's the third crop this year so we had garlic and then I planted radish between the garlic and then the French beans went between the garlic as well and they will crop through the summer this whole bed has had a mesh cover on because of rabbits mainly uh, the rabbits are coming in from here and uh, sweet little ones I planted the lettuce I did, didn't realize the rabbits had recovered from their illness they had last year and um, the first planting of lettuce all disappeared grazed to the ground by rabbits so the mesh goes over and the rabbits love carrot tops as well carrot leaves and young brassicas young french beans most of this now actually would be okay the rabbits don't funnily enough eat older lettuce so much uh, but i'll keep it on for a bit just in case and we've got a mesh over here for the same reason that more carrots coming up where there were beetroot again this gave around four kilos of lovely beetroots and i sowed the red the carrots between the beetroots just finished and this was peas, peas for shoots, where we cleared them and on the same morning planted swedes. So these swedes were sown like the lettuce on the 1st of June, planted towards the end of June. And very important to have the mash over to keep the insects off in the summer, which can otherwise, particularly this one called swede midge, eats out the heart of the lettuce and then, you, oh, sorry, of the swede, and you, you don't get a very good root on it. And here we have, for our climate which is not a hot summer today's an unusually warm day for us it's 25 degrees centigrade 77 Fahrenheit <laughs> and normally we're low 70s 2021 uh, anyway I was experimenting with pepper that's a variety called Rota Augsburger good for outdoor aubergine ground cherry there's actually some little ground cherries ripe already it's a it's a nice variety this one and um, they are very tasty if you like them not everybody likes them they're they're slightly acid they've got quite a, a bite to them as well as being sweet strong flavor more classical summer 
vegetables here or fruits so tomatoes of all different varieties including crimson crush quite a big one sun golds at the back <clears throat> and these were planted between spinach so again an interplant and towards the end of summer in about a month actually i'll draw some lines between them with the drill and sow some spinach under the tomatoes so it's all about having plants ready or having seeds ready and seeing opportunities to put in the next crop and keeping it full all the time but most of what you see here now will be here until the end of the season the year even uh, but with some new plantings popped in between like some bulb fennel as well as the spinach and perhaps a bit of chervil and coriander